Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox game development video. Last time we were working on the main character jump animation, it was too long. Um, I fixed that, um, and I guess my mouse double clicked when I clicked record or something like that, and I missed like 10 minutes of footage or something like that, so I ended up making the animation shorter, and then also... I had I added a cursor thing to uh, I like went into Photoshop with you guys and we made like a little aimer for this guy so uh, it looks better than just a giant mouse in the middle of our screen so uh, yeah that's the thing now so that's great and also um, let's see here today uh, I would like to get the guys shooting today hopefully uh, we're gonna start making uh, remote events and stuff so the server can start seeing what we're doing. Um, but I wanted to do something. Oh, uh, yeah. So starter player strafing. I want it to be escape. I think the escape button was just broken that one time we were doing this. And now it should be fixed. I think closing and reopening Roblox fixed that issue. Okay. No, it didn't. All right. Well, never mind. Wait. I'm, like, completely locked in okay yeah so never mind never mind forget about that it's so weird because on my other game my escape key works perfectly fine for that purpose so i guess we'll just keep that left control for our pause menu for now and then we'll just have to switch it out when we actually launch the game so um anyways without further ado let's get our first um remote event in here and we will call it uh, Spaceman Events. Mm, Spaceman Events. Mm, I guess that's an okay name. And then we need to go into the server script service and get a script. And this will be uh, Spaceman Handler, I guess. That sounds good. Okay, so we need to do local Spaceman event equals game dot replicated storage dot, what is it, Spaceman events. Okay, so we got to call upon that event, and every time the local client activates that event, we need to do stuff. So we'll do function let's see shoot and in here we're going to have player because the remote event when it's activated always returns a player so we have to have that value in there so we'll have player um is that that's really it isn't it so just shoot from the player and then we can find everything else out later yeah, that's fine. So then we got to go here like spaceman event dot on server event connect shoot. Okay, there. So now we should be able to talk to the server through our um, our thing with this. So we'll get that set up as a template for now. Um, and then we need a new script in here that will be our, our skills handling, I suppose. Um, yeah, so new local script, and we're going to call this uh, skills. Because there's going to be multiple types of attacks and moves and stuff, and the main attack is just going to be shooting normally. So we will start off with that one today, and then hopefully we start building out the other ones as time goes on. So we need user input. Game get service, user input service. Okay, cool. So then we'll do function uh, shoot. And we need to get our mouse position, I believe, also. So local mouse equals game.players.localplayer uh, get mouse. So we can create the bullets in the direction of the mouse. And, um,. Yeah, that should be okay for now. So now we need to do user input 
dot uh, dot input began. I thought, oh, user storage service. User, we want user input service. There we go. Okay, so let me input began. All right, what am I doing wrong? How does input begin? Yeah. User input service. Yeah, that's weird. I guess it didn't update yet. Anyways, so connect, shoot, or uh, connect function uh, input. And we'll do if input dot key code is equal to um, input dot enum or uh, enum dot key code dot I guess it wouldn't be that. It would be like mouse. Enum dot user input type dot mouse one. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. So we want user input type equals mouse button one, then connect there. Okay, cool. Then we will we need a boolean in here also, so local shooting equals false. Because it's going to be, like you hold down the mouse, it continuously shoots. You don't need to uh, uh, click every single time. So we will just flip this on with a boolean. So we'll do shooting equals true if that happens. And then we need this same thing, but we need ended. Cool. And then we'll do shooting equals false. Okay. And then we'll do... see here repeat wait 0 0.2 um, 0 0.2 and then do stuff we need to also get that event so local uh, spaceman events equals game dot replicated storage dot spaceman events okay cool so now we can do this so I guess I should have kept that open the spaceman event handler because like everything is going to come off the same thing so I guess this should be called like function action or something like that and then we can name this action okay okay this is gonna come together better now all right so shooting equals true and then we're going to repeat this until shooting is equal to false so wait 0 0.2 and then we're going to um call the, the the shoot function in through the uh spaceman event so spaceman events fire server and then we will fire ourselves, and that should be good I don't think we need a shoot function in here yeah maybe we don't even need that we can just go straight into just fire server and let's just verify that this indeed just prints our name a whole bunch of times okay so you can see it's printing a kangaroo jack as I'm holding the mouse I release the mouse it ends I hold down the mouse and then it continues once again. It looks good. All right, so so action. So we need what skill is going to do. So if skill is equal to um, main, then do this. All right, so with our starter character, let's bring him back into the workspace. We need to do some stuff with his guns and everything to get that prepared. Um, so starter character, somebody told me I should make him smooth plastic would help with the spaceman look. Yeah, I guess it's got like that weird, gross look to it. Smooth plastic. Ooh. Yes, that is much better. Okay, whoever suggested that, I'm sorry, I forget your name. You are a god amongst men. 
Okay, so let's see here. So is this front surface the actual front surface? Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's just name these thingies. So gun one and then gun two. So it's going to be shooting both of these guns pretty much at the exact same time. Or not the exact same time, it's going to alternate in between both of the guns. Alright, so we can just tell the bullet to appear slightly in front of the gun. We'll be good. Okay, so let's put this back into starter player. Okay, cool. Alright, so we'll go back into let's see, Spaceman Handler. Okay, so we got the player. So we need to do local character... Well, actually, it's, we need this for all of the skills regardless, so we'll do it out here. Uh, local character equals player dot character. Should be fine, I think. And then local... Um, yeah, local gun one equals character wait for child gun one. Local gun two equals character. Wait for child. Gun two. Okay. So both of those are good. So now we can create bullets based off of their position. So let's see here. Local character equals. Uh, we don't need that anymore. And I accidentally capitalized that. Okay. All right. So if skill one, if skill main is being called. Then we're going to do local b equals instance on new bullet or part. Yeah, my bad. Uh, parent will be workspace. Uh, b dot size equals vector three dot new 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2. Just make it a square. Should be fine. B dot brick color equals brick color dot new uh, gold b dot color or. Uh, B dot material well it's enum dot material dot neon should be good and then b dot c frame equals equals gun one dot c frame times c frame dot new zero zero and then i believe it's on the z should be 0 0.5 shit would probably look correctly so let's see so we need to do this for like both guns so how can we alternate between both of the guns I mean, I could just have them shoot two bullets at one one click, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I want to just alternate in between both of them. But how can we keep track of that? Like, we need a boolean or something to keep track of which gun to do but every time this action function gets called it's going to be like a different thread and then multiple players are going to be using this as well um it might just be good to keep like a value inside the gun or like use the gun to keep track of it somehow Yeah, we could keep track of it like. Yeah, we could switch off like custom physical properties. Or we can check locked. Yeah, locked would probably be a better one. Okay, so we'll do it like this. So we'll do if gun one dot locked equals false then do that else uh, b.c frame is there 
Okay. So gun one is locked, is not locked, and then we will shoot the bullet, and then gun one dot locked equals true. And then once it shoots the other bullet, then we'll do gun one locked equals false again. So that should alternate between both of the guns uh, decently. It's kind of a hack job, but it'll work. Uh, let's give it some body velocity now. So local instance dot new uh, body velocity parent will be B obviously, and then BV dot max force equals vector three dot new map dot huge map dot huge map dot huge. Let's give it infinite force. Um, that should be plenty of force, and then BV dot velocity equals um, B dot C frame dot look vector times 200 should be okay and then we should probably set up the touched event also for B so B dot touched connect function object and go into here and then if object is not is descendant of script parent then continue and throw in a not in here. Okay, so cool. So we want to make sure that we don't hit ourselves with our own bullet, pretty much. So if it is not us, then if object uh, if local human equals object dot parent find first child humanoid if human then continue. Uh, human take damage uh, math uh, random 20 to 45 we're have to add like critical critical uh, damage and stuff also in here eventually but we'll just get this set up uh, for now uh, that should be should be decent we're gonna have to add bullet spread as well the more you shoot the more it spreads out but I think this will work let's just make sure that b is uh, destroyed and then we want to do uh, game get service uh, debris add item b uh, like two second delay uh, we'll do five second delay uh, in case we shoot into space or something we don't want the bullet like flying forever in one direction so let's see Okay, I'm guessing we need to do that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just fire main skill over to that server script. Okay, cool. Errors. I can work with errors. So random. Cool, typo. That's a good sign. So we're talking to the server. So this is about to work, hopefully. Uh, where's the bullet at? So it like, it made it here. Is it like shooting the wrong way or something? Uh, say print shooting. I want to verify that this function is actually firing. So it's, it says we're shooting, uh, but where are the bullets at? Whoa, oh shit, okay. Why did we just suddenly get hit with a bunch of bullets? That is so weird. I must be doing something wrong here. Okay, so I think I found the issue here. Um, we were checking script.parent if it's not an object of script.parent, which is incorrect because I forgot the script isn't actually in the uh, player. It's in server uh, script 
service. So we need to um, check it like that, I believe, and then maybe that'll fix it. Let's see. Yeah, I still don't see. Wait, I see them. They're just going in the wrong direction. That's weird. <coughs> yeah, I would have assumed <coughs> whatever direction the All right, let's let's slow down the velocity on that. I figured that they would be going in the direction of the guns because we have it set that way. What is twenty eight? Oh shit! Okay. All right, well, there's the bullet, as you can see. Um, it is the wrong way, first off. And I believe this should be like 1.5 maybe on the Z. And then also we have uh, gun one in there twice. So let's switch that to gun two so it at least alternates arms. All right, let's see. Okay, do you see a bullet? Because I do not see a bullet. Why is it going, like, down? Oh, that is so weird. That is so weird. Yeah, B dot C frame dot look vector. Like the bullet should be facing forward because we made B C frame to be the gun C frame. And I believe the the front of the gun I thought we checked this. The front of the gun is is correct, isn't it? Let's see, like if we go into gun one and we look at the front, it is actually the front of the gun. Look at the back, back is correct, top, yeah, top is correct. So when his arm is straight forward, the gun is in the correct orientation. So I don't understand, like, why, why this is happening like that. It was so strange. I guess we could base it off of the arm look vector, or the gun1.cframe.look vector. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I guess. I mean, that's kind of janky. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Probably load into my character and break everything. Just stop. All right, let's get you back into here. And we're running, running late, running over time again, of course, because I want to get this thing going. Alright, again the bullets are not appearing where they should. Why? And instead they go down. Okay. Well, we'll figure this out in the next episode. This is running too long. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this.
done this. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this.